What's up, buddy? Crypto Muscle. Saturday morning. Pumping iron and pumping crypto. International now, worldwide. Syndicated is what it's all about. Oh, yeah, the global phenomenon. I mean, the I'm a platform checker, taker, and wrecker at the same time because I take it all. All right. And uh, I've proven that if you mess with with the wrong person, I can destroy a platform. I've proven that. All right, just like that. And just like I've proven time and time again that we can make it and take it all the time as well. But this is what it's all about. All right, so uh, I want to give you guys the news today, you know, your typical crypto news that I do, as well as what's going on, the haps and craps of crypto muscle. And the biggest one I wanted to mention today is... Airing a little bit later, Bonanza Global, the experience, visiting the real office live in SoCal. This is what I did last weekend uh, down in SoCal, out in Beverly Hills. This is just a prelude of what's to come right here. Check it out. Look at this. Should I give you a little bit of a preview? Here's, here's a quick preview. All right, let's see here. There it is, right? You see some pictures. Oh, 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 elevator. Oh, oh, here, oh, oh, all right, all right that's, just, that's just too much, too much showing right, I got, I'm showing way too much, all right, you gotta, you gotta watch the video there, and check that out, live, last Saturday when I went there, all right, so, uh, what else is going on, oh, and uh, also Aaron later on today, of course, the weekly smashing of cash effects, as they're just continuing to be full of shit, especially with those ball-headed dildos, they always tell me how they make so much money every week, but yet they can't pull it out. It doesn't make sense. I know. Shit doesn't make sense. And um, what else? Uh, a couple things I wanted to throw out there too. The weekly uh, smashing of uh, the weekly burial that I do on Tiwi and his little money trash. Uh, I'm going to hold off till tomorrow, uh, one day later the wrecked collaboration that I typically do, all right, as we inch closer and closer to the reburial and destroying the Tiwi tree, all right, and so this is just to honor and remember the shittiest YouTuber there is in the space that's never, that doesn't exist anymore because he's straight garbage, and you know who else is right next to that person? Well, not yet, at least. Well, I won't say it. I won't say it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Or should I say it? Nah, I won't say it. But I've been kind of saying it, though, in some of my videos, right? And uh, that's all I got to say. But um, let's just get straight to it now, all right? So crypto news, uh, Bitcoin is up. Oh, look at that. 24,500. Already up 3% over the last 24 hours. So it's inching closer to 25,000. Are we going to hit a 25,000 Bitcoin today? Uh, how about Ethereum inching closer to 2,000? Are we going to be hitting back to $2,000 Ethereum? Hmm. We'll see. Man, but I don't know. I, I, I just have this eerie feeling that it's just a pump happening here to catch you guys, you know, with your pants down. And you'd be like, oh shit, you know, and you want, right when you pull your pants up, then all these people that are pumping it up are going to dump it on you guys. And uh, that's my feeling about it. But hey, you know, I don't do TA. I don't do none of that garbage shit. You just never know what may happen. But I'm just not believing, especially being that the quote unquote bear market. Uh, is over? I, I don't think so. Sorry. This is not a new bull run. I don't see it as a new bull run either. So don't be fooled by that. All right. So when typically Bitcoin's up, a lot of things will be up, right? I mean, pretty much everything across the board, alts will be up because, you know, everything follows Bitcoin. Bitcoin down, alts die, right? If Bitcoin goes way down, alts die. You know, so that's what it is. Let's go on to crypto news here. All right. Let's see here. Learn my lesson. 
Uh, this is from a pleb channel. I got sucked into the whole crypto hype. It sounded quite amazing. And I'm kind of a tech lead. A head, sorry, head. So I decided to give it a shot. Read up blockchain tech and fell for it. Did my research on coins, tokens. I decided on throwing a couple grand into Harmony because I was impressed with the team's credentials. Engineers from Google, Apple, Amazon. They know the shit, right? Wrong. Not an investor. Never have been. I hate the charts and it doesn't even interest me. But I got sucked into the yields, right? Yep, yields will get you in trouble. <laughs> all right. That's what happened with all these uh, lenders, exchanges that offer uh, a pretty sizable yield, right? But there's always going to be one end, a nice yield, but what about the other end? You know, if something happens, what if the bottom falls out? And that's what happened with all these people, right? Celsius, uh, Harmony, 3AC, all these things. Um, I'm usually not that dumb. I was thinking uh, by this Christmas, I have a shit ton of profit to buy my kid presents. Nope, they got hacked for $100 million, crashed hard. If the best engineers, yeah, Harmony was the one where they had the bridge. And so far, every sort of bridge, that bridge, the crypto into something, to another, the bridge itself has been hackable, which has been crazy. But it shows you that the bridges are not solid yet. So, whew, crazy. Uh, if the best engineers on the planet from giant tech companies can't get it right, then it's impossible for others will. Luckily, I only lost a couple thousand. Not that I'm happy about it, but it could have been worse. Uh, I can definitely think of better things to spend that two grand on. Really sweet keyboard. Gift for my wife. PS5 for my kid. Anyway, crypto's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Pretty funny stuff. Uh, let's see what's going on here. What is this here? Bitcoin struggles to flip 24K to support. This was like a couple days ago though, right? No, it's today. But data shows pro traders stacking sats. So, whales holding steady even as Bitcoin price failed to hold about 24,000. Well, it's, it's up there right now. So, we'll see what happens if uh, anything changes with all that. And, let's see what else is going on here. CoinFlex announces staff cuts. As part of measures to reduce cost by up to 60%. Wow. So that's CoinFlex reducing staff. See, you know, when all these crypto exchanges and companies reduce staff, then, you know, they're hedging that something bad's about to come, right? Because why would they reduce staff if everything's good? You know, things like that, right? You got to see all the things that are talked about it might not be headline worthy but it is talked about and to me these actions speak louder than what's really being said here so you know just keep an eye out for that uh see deposits at non-bank entities including crypto firms are not insured fdic uh yeah there's very not that many hardly i mean nearly I wouldn't say zero, but nearly close to zero uh, than the opposite way of financial institutions in the U.S. that can be FDIC insured when you put something like crypto into a bank, right? So, uh, yeah, no such protections apply to those crypto companies, but some banks do kind of dabble with crypto, so... You know, it's kind of a wobbler gray area, but it is something. So, yeah, be wary of that as well, that you're not protected typically. And uh, what else here? Market conditions green. We just talked about that. It's green right now. Bitcoin's up. Everything will be up. It doesn't mean that I stopped uh, Tiwi smashing wrecked collaboration. Don't, don't give, you know, don't be fooled by the pumps. All right. That's all I got to say. It's too early. For this quote unquote new bull run, all right? So that's all I got to say about that. It's too early for that stuff. Uh, let me see what else here. Oh, man. I think I scrolled up too high. All right, let me go back down a little bit. Some stuff I missed out on covering the last couple of days. Let me see if I could go back and find it. Um, oh, here we go. 
Yeah, so we talked about the backlash as Harmony proposes minting billions of tokens. We talked about that the other day. Um, yeah, <laughs> good luck with that. To me, it's going to drive the value down in the long run when you're minting a shitload of, of tokens, right? So let me just get it back to where we are in terms of the news here. Let me see. Um, yeah, Bitcoin, all coins surge ahead of July 27th FOMC meeting, but will they expect the 75 basis point rate hike cap the current rally? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna, it, it's not catching up yet, but it will. Um, the Coinbase SEC investigation could have serious and chilling effects, right? So... The investigation could see a far-reaching impact on crypto exchanges and the token projects involved. And by the way, Coinbase keeps on loading up and loading up on all these altcoins and stuff. And it's like, what are they doing, man? Coinbase is not what it used to be, uh, where they used to be super picky about what they bring on. Now they're bringing on a boatload of, of crypto. And I think they're just trying to be just like any other exchange that's out there right you know the ku coins and all these other ones out there but to me that's what made them unique in the first place was they didn't have all that back then and they were selective about what they wanted to bring within but whatever all right all they're doing is shooting themselves in the foot eventually when they have all these shit coins that are in their portfolio and um you know, it's like, all right, well, that's on them. Uh, Zuckerberg. So we talked about Facebook yesterday about how the FTC is filing a lawsuit against Meta, which is Facebook, right, over attempted monopolization of the metaverse. But it's like, is it really? Because just because they took the name Meta, but the metaverse is so big and ever expanding and infinite because... I could create my own metaverse and it's whatever I want it to be, right? And that's how anybody can do it as well. It could be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't it's not really controlled by anything but the person that created it. So I don't know, it's just stupid. Um let's see here. Experts yet to explain massive spike in ETH active addresses. A sudden dramatic spike in active addresses on the network has left many guessing about the cause. Um, how about gas prices going down? Oh, <laughs> gas prices going down because so many left uh, ETH over time to other, you know, chains, right? Binance Smart Chains and uh, all these other chains, other Polygon Network, uh, all these other ones, right? People are flocking over to Pulse Chain. Oh, wait a second. Pulse Chain doesn't even exist right now. It's just testnet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so all these people that left brought the gas prices down because ETH used to be super frequently used. And because of that, it drove gas prices up. But I think because a lot of people stopped using ETH, especially as a as a place to make, you know, like dApps and to use ETH as a catalyst for paying for gas and all that. I think it drove gas prices down. It's making it more reasonable to go back to ETH now and that's why there's that and then of course the price as well. It's it's not at its all time lows or where it was back in the last crash, but it's still lower than it's been, right? Especially when it peaked as high as almost five thousand dollars. All right, so Zuckerberg on phase about a two point eight billion metaverse division loss. Wow, that's a lot of money. Two point eight billion. So one point two six billion in Ethereum option expire on Friday, and bulls are ready to push ETH price higher. Well, wow, so there you go. That's part of that we just talked about. Why ETH all of a sudden, right? And so with that, man, just like how it all began, the crypto news is already covered for today. We'll have to come back to see what else is in store on another day. Comment down below. Check out that Bonanza video later. 
Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.